Everybody is doing corporate social responsibility in the sense that every major corporation now has a sustainability report or a corporate social responsibility report. Um, paradoxically, uh, almost nobody knows precisely what that means, and it's still an evolving art. It's important because of a couple of factors. The sheer scale of, of business, every economy in the world now virtually is a liberal market economy. The global corporations are enormous, and they do have impacts on society uh, and the ecosystem, uh, which are significant. Uh, the other factor, of course, is that those impacts are now much more visible due to the communications and the, the transparency that we're, we're used to. In the short term, uh, corporations might be tempted to ignore uh, CSR. However, we know that uh, when this happens, uh, typically uh, trust can be lost in the day but may take a decade uh, to recover. And the cost of mistrust is, uh, can be extremely high in terms of uh, lost sales, consumer boycotts, increased um, insurance, communication costs and the like. A company should have no pure CSR objective. In other words, it should have no CSR objective isolated from, from its business objective. Uh, rather, it should optimize for uh, business and society and ecology at the same time. Some of the pitfalls, conversely, are to focus on messaging, to treat CSR as if it is an exercise in saying the right thing rather than doing the right thing. I think it is to try to be too comprehensive, to try to be everything to everyone. Uh, I think it is to stay within the realm of words and, and not uh, to, to set uh, quantitative objectives. And I think it's also a mistake to be very uh, internally uh, focused. Do financial markets care about CSR? Well, they certainly care about financial results. And we know that companies that don't look after CSR can have problems with their financial results. I think in the long term, one would expect to see uh, higher employee uh, retention, for example, and eventually not just higher total shareholder returns, but more importantly, higher and sustained total shareholder returns.